Hello, this is Todd Luck, and this is a review of the Hellboy 2-pack that has Sword of Storms and Blood and Iron in it. This is the two Hellboy animated films, and they are in this one DVD set. And the reason I'm doing this review is I picked this up this year, and, you know, I wanted to own these films. And this was cheap. It was on the shelf at Walmart. Uh, you can probably get it online now. Um... And so I looked on the back, and if you know anything about Blu-rays and DVDs, this will tell you what you're getting. And all I've got is information about the movies. And so I'm like, oh, well, it's a bare-bone thing. You know, I didn't really know anything about the DVDs that these movies originally came on. So I was like, well, maybe there are no special features. So, when I popped them in my Blu-ray player, I was shocked to find that this is some of the most thorough special features you could humanly ask for. These things are loaded, and it is a me amazing package. First of all, these movies are really good. This is the best Hellboy movies, in my opinion. They are very, very faithful to the source material, perfectly capture, you know, what the comics are like it and they are good they are very very good and you combine that with special features they go into the origins of hellboy you know how mcnola created him and yes they do get mcnola you know to give a lot of input in these special features how the animated movies came about you know why they look different than mcnola's that was part of the deal they go into all that how, why they were designed the way they were why they picked the subject material any question you have when you're watching these animated movies will be answered in these special features there's directors commentaries featurettes there is even on the first one sort of storms there's even a full-length convention panel about the animated movies which was really great. Now, you're going to get some of the information, you know, maybe two or three times, you know, if you watch them all, you know, when you got the featurettes and uh, convention panel and, and a um, director's commentary, you know, some of that stuff's going to be said repeatedly, but that's just the thorough nature of what you're getting in this two-pack. And so, Sword of Storms, the first DVD in the set, actually has a lot more special features than Blood and Iron, which is the second DVD. Because Sword of Storms, you know, this special features explain the origin of Hellboy, explain the origins of the animated movie, and the art style that they use. So, to compensate for this, Blood and Iron actually includes a new animated short based on the original Hellboy story by Mike McNola, Iron Boots. And so, if you're familiar with Iron Boots, you know it's very short, but it's still very, very cool to see that in animated form. And there is also a Hellboy short story included in here by Mike McNola. It's a short comic book called, and I'm going to slaughter this name, but it's the Pangolin or something like that. Um, hard to pronounce, but cool story. Unfortunately, on here, it's done in this motion comic that just goes from panel to panel, regardless of if you've read them or not. I just found it to be unreadable um, on the DVD. So what I recommend is you play it, get Mike McNola's little commentary that plays before it, because he explains, you know, the origins of the story, which was really cool, and then go and read it either in comic book form or on Comixology Unlimited. Um, it is the one-shot Hellboy, uh, the Troll Witch, and other stories, I believe is what it's called. It's got the Troll Witch as kind of the main story, and then it collects several others, including that, that particular story. Um, it's also in a trade paperback by that same name, Troll Witch, and other stories. Um, you can either buy the issue or buy the trade paperback, or you can go on Comixology Unlimited, and you can sign up for a free trial if you don't have it already, and Basically, it's got all the Hellboy trades on there that you can read for Comixology Limited, you know. And after the free trial, you just pay like, it's almost nothing. I can't remember, like seven bucks a month. I, I don't even think about it it's so small. But you get like just about every Hellboy trade paperback in existence, you know, for that amount of money. And then, you know, thousands and thousands of other comics. But anyway, um, so 
that's that's one of the few detractors that I have is that you know that comic didn't work, but that very well, but that is very common on DVDs. I don't know why, you know, when they throw in a comic book as a special feature on the DVD or Blu-ray that they don't understand how to make it readable on screen. They do this like weird motion comic thing and make the text too small to read and all this stuff. Um, but again, that's just a very minor gripe on an otherwise outstanding collection. It's outstanding right down to the menus on there. They're fully animated menus that, you know, you'll see Hellboy, you know, getting smashed across the screen. And then, you know, you know you'll see the menu and the menu will actually have movement in it. There's uh, scene selection on Sword of Storms that actually has like, you know, little little things moving in the background. There's like blood dripping on it and the, there's a spider coming down and, it, and you know, like Hellboy's just standing there, you know, like it's just really cool that they put that much effort into it. Sword of Storm's menus are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's worth it just to see like the, the whole package with Sword of Storm's. Um, and also Sword of Storm's is my favorite Hellboy movie as well. Um, it is a terrific story that takes place in Japanese mythology. It starts in the modern day, but things happen and Hellboy gets, you know, whisked away to this kind of magical land that he has to make his way through in order to stop the demons that are coming in the modern day part of the story. And the brilliant thing, and this, and one of the reasons why Swords, Sword of Storms is my favorite, one of my favorite Hellboy stories ever, is that Hellboy is tends to be two different sorts of stories in the comics. It tends to be short stories, which to me work perfectly because Mike McNola takes those little folk tales that he's adapting and just uses them directly and puts Hellboy in them. And they're short and they just work very well as a you know beginning, middle, and end short story. The longer stories I don't find quite as satisfying because they just feel like Hellboy going from a series of you know monsters or obstacles, you know, and eventually he's gonna save the world at the end or whatever, but it just doesn't feel as unified and as structured and as satisfying to me as those shorts that are so directly based on the folklore. So what sort of storms does that's so brilliant? There is a framing story about, you know, the big menace that you always get in those long miniseries is that's going to end the world. You know, these demons are coming, et cetera, et cetera. But what they do with Hellboy is they pop him into the magic world. And so he wanders around this magic world, you know, trying to get, you know, whatever he needs to stop him. But he has these encounters along the way every time you have a scene with him is a little short story where he encounters a monster and either defeats it or escapes from it. And so Heads, which is a Mike McNola short story that's just frickin' brilliant, is adapted in there and it's so good. But they do very similar original stories in there as well and they are so good and so faithful to the sh source material that there's one about him fighting a kappa, which is like this demonic turtle creature. And it was so good and felt so much like Hellboy, I really had to double check to make sure it was not an adaption of a Mike McNola comic short story. It felt that much like Hellboy. It was utterly perfect and I loved it. And that is the highest, highest compliment I can humanly give anything Hellboy, if I cannot, if you came up with something original and it's so damn good, it felt like it was in the comics, you succeeded. So again, Sword of Storms is just an amazing movie. Blood and Iron is also a really, really good movie. It doesn't quite gel quite as well, but it is so good. It is a horror movie in the truest sense of the words. It combines Haunted House and Vampire Horror together in a very satisfying movie. It has a lot of focus on Professor Broom and is honestly my favorite story told with Professor Broom, who is Hellboy's mentor, who in the comics he dies very quickly, but um, it, 
does have some backstories that are told later uh, in BPRD and things like that. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention that Blood and Iron is an adaption of Wake of the Devil, which is the second Hellboy miniseries. It's a loose adaption. Uh, it's focused on the vampire and the Hecate battle at the end. And they switch out the vampire for a new character who I thought was very effective. And I really liked her. She's based on this woman in Europe who killed a bunch of servant girls and bathed in their blood to stay young. And in this movie, uh, it basically has her becoming a priestess of Hecate and a vampire. So I just felt like it, it gelled pretty well. It doesn't quite come together quite as good as Sword of Storms. There's some backstory added to the prologue uh, that's set in the past that probably wasn't needed. It's kind of there to fill space. Some of the scenes were pretty cool, though. There's a scene where the vampire, uh, we get to see how the vampire got the victim, and that was actually a pretty scary scene. And that's the thing I really like about Blood and Iron. It is actually a scary uh, Hellboy story, and that's pretty cool. Um, as far as the packaging and all that good stuff goes, uh, as you can see, it's very red. Um... That, honestly, is one of the only detractors other than the attempt to do the comic on, this, on the Blood and Iron uh, DVD. Uh, this isn't as effective as it could be. I feel like it needs some shadows in there. It just feels too flat. It just feels like a very simple sketch that's just colored red. Um, and I felt like the covers of the individual DVDs uh, that I'd seen were more effective than this. That being said, it is just a cover, and again, you're probably not buying a DVD or a Blu-ray to display. You're buying it to watch unless it's something really gorgeous like this uh, Mike McNola still book I have of the this year's Hellboy movie, which uh, was a Best Buy exclusive. Uh, something like that, obviously, you're going to display. Something like this, you may or may not. So I'm okay with that. Uh, as far as the DVDs themselves go... Um, they have some cool art on them. You know, not every DVD has that. Some of them just go for like super basic. But this, you know, really, uh, again, this just goes out of its way on every aspect, whether it's the DVD menus, the special features, you know, this, this is your full package. And if you see this, this is well worth getting. Um, as far as if you want a set of the originals, um, those, those are going to cost you a little bit as far as what I could find. There's actually a really cool DVD set that actually has both of them individually in the set, uh, you know, with separate cases, and a cool Hellboy animated figure. But unfortunately, it goes for a whole lot of money now. So uh, this is your most economical uh, choice for this. Now, with all that being said, there is one detractor for Blu-rays in modern computers with, with this DVD set. Sword of Storms tries to do something innovative called Follow the Fox. I believe that's the name of it. Um, where a fox will appear on the screen. In the movie, Hellboy follows a fox into the magical world of Japanese mythology. And so here, uh, when you see the fox, you're supposed to be able to click on something and it'll play a special feature about that scene you're watching. Uh, unfortunately, on my Blu-ray player, it doesn't work. Um, it's designed for a DVD player, which I do not own. I assume this works on DVD player. Does not work on Blu-ray. Did not work on my modern computer. This is, you know, a relatively old DVD set. Um, and so... The unfortunate thing is not only does the clicking on the fox not work, but also the ability to turn off the fox appearing does not work. So unfortunately, unless you have a DVD player, you're going to be stuck with the fox appearing on the screen. You know, I mean, it's not their fault. It's not like they saw this technology coming and all this stuff. You know, honestly, it's the fault of the Blu-ray player for not being fully compatible with DVD features. <laughs> so that is just an unfortunate thing. I almost want to get a DVD player just so I can turn the Fox off so I don't have it pop up on the screen while I'm watching. 
<laughs> but other than that, this is such an outstanding set. And I highly recommend it. And as I've said in previous videos, to me, the good Hellboy movies are the original Del Toro movie, these two anime movies, which I believe are the best, and then the new Hellboy movie that came out this year because there's a lot of stuff from the comic book in there and there's a lot of good stuff in there. Not all of it's good. It's a mixed bag, but it's certainly worth watching. Um, you know, to me, Hellboy the Golden Army was just really bad. It was one of the worst things I've I've ever sat through. <laughs> so I don't recommend that. Though there are a lot of people who do love it. And if you love Hellboy the Golden Army, more power to you. But it, it's not going on my shelf. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this, this DVD set, highly, highly recommended. Um, and it actually reminded me I need to finish reading the Hellboy saga. I kind of got stalled because I got so much other stuff to read. Um, on the last part of BPRD. So I have gotten uh, BPRD Hell on Earth Volume 15 and I'm going to read that. And then I'm going to read uh, the last three uh, trade paperbacks of BPRD, which is, I believe, called The Devil You Know. And I will finally see how it ends for, for Hellboy and the BPRD and maybe the entire planet. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> looking forward to that so anyway like and subscribe for more videos and until next time don't mess with the devil unless you want to get the horns <laughs> <laughs>